What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be diving into the Vacation Edition collection from Kylie Cosmetics. Oh my god, y'all. This is her biggest collection ever as a brand. Kylie Cosmetics is coming really hard this summer. I know that there are so many launches. Not to toot my own horn, you know I got, you know I got a launch too, y'all. There is everybody in the makeup world flooding the market with summer stuff and I'm really excited because that means we get to turn up the glow, we get all brand new stuff, new packaging, new everything. So today, you guys, it's gonna be a long one, so you better grab some popcorn. I mean, popcorn, who, who, who watches YouTube and eats popcorn? What the fuck am I even talking about? Grab a Red Bull, grab some Starburst, grab a hot meal, and um, we are going to dive into a lot of swatches. We're going to create a little look from this craziness we got today. Let me just hold this up, you guys. This PR package, oh, my god, look at how big this is. This is like, I mean, y'all, when she when she sends the vault, bitch, she sends the damn vault. In this box, you get a lot of stuff. So I'm going to break down the prices of everything as we, of course, go through uh, the video. We're gonna swatch a lot of stuff and we're just gonna talk about everything that is in here. I know so many of you love when I talk about stuff before they are launching. So of course, I cut the deadline really short for this one. All right, so in this box, you guys, you get matte liquid lipsticks, you have pressed powder highlighters, you have, oh my god, you guys, there's her velvet liquid lips, there is super glitter glosses, which is a new formula, I can't wait to try those. There is a brand new eyeshadow palette, there is a face duo, there's loose powder highlighters, Oh my god. I think I'm gonna try the highlighters first. Now there are several types in this collection. So something that I um, wore the other day on Snapchat and online was something called the Wet Set. Now this says on the back of the box that it is a pressed powder highlighter. Okay, so let me open this up. There are four shades, bam. And as you see, I did try this one the other day. It's called Privacy Please. It was blinding. So before we even get into it, I'm going to tell you my first impressions because I did try this. This is the only thing I've tried in the box. I was a little shook at the formula. It is not a normal pressed powder highlighter, even though it says it on there. It has a almost like a cool to touch uh, cream feeling. Let me just show you my clean finger here and let me just dive into privacy, please. You see one, two, one, two, Blinderoo. That's how I feel when I saw this. And I might as well just swatch the other ones for you. This one is unbothered. Oh my god. I mean, look at that. It's like mirrors on my finger. And then we have Do Not Disturb, which is this guy. Look at that, you guys. All the tones are so different. We got champagne, we got a pinky one, and we got a bronze one. And then this third one, Get Away, is the more dark, uh, bronze with that like gold glitter. Oh my god, it just feels so cool. So here is all four shades from the wet set And by the way, I love that name now I did see some people on snapchat really like go in here and press it hard like putty and you can press it and see I don't want to do it too hard because I don't want to ruin it So as you see you guys you can see my finger imprint So it is like a I don't even know how to explain it It's like literally a powder and a gel and a cream all in one But it dries like this and it's not like tacky a lot of the times you guys have seen me on my channel use uh, cream highlighters and it just has that weird tacky feeling and you have to set it this is not the case this this just looks stunning now here's my only issue is that this for four shades is $62 I'm like girl Kylie's trying to use them luxury prices all of a sudden I know the formula is probably a little more expensive that is just my uh, guess I do not know that for a fact and you know she is in that middle tier price point but $62 for four shades I was like Egh. for the entire bundle of stuff that I just showed you you can get everything Thing for $250. Of course, if you're a makeup collector or an addict, you are going to love that price. It is discounted. If you only want a few things from a collection, obviously I understand that. $250 is a lot of money for a collection. Everything comes in the bundle except the wet set. So just want to put that out there. I know a lot of you are going to be wondering and asking. So before we move on, I think it's only fair that we swatch a few on my cheeks because girl, I'm kind of obsessed. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna take this little highlighting brush from Kevin Aquan. I love it. I'm gonna go in with Privacy Please. Ignore my, of course, finger mark, and all I'm gonna do is go like that, like, bam. So let me just put it right on the line of my co contour. Woo! I mean, um, now I wore this once the other day, and now this is my second time using it, and um, let me just say the catchphrase that me and Manny made famous. I'm trapped! I'm really shook. Look at that. I mean, Lord, thank you. Look at that. 
girl. Now I am gonna go in with Do Not Disturb, which is a more pink champagne-like color. Same brush now that the color is off. All right, so I just put my hair behind my ears just so you guys can visually see a little bit more. Don't hate on my Sephora clip, y'all. So let's see what it looks like. Oof, I'm like feeling the burn, honey. I don't wanna sound like a broken record, you guys, but I really, really love this formula. Um, I know I said the price point was a little crazy, but I think um, for how blinding they look right away, I would definitely buy this myself. Damn, that is beautiful. Huh. All right, the next item I really have been dying to try out is the Take Me On Vacation Eyeshadow Palette. This is, it's different, I heard, allegedly. Um, Kylie did talk about on Snapchat that this is her best collection to date. She said, thank you for dealing with a lot of my trial and errors. I have really perfected this and I'm very proud of this collection and this is my uh, proudest collection, I guess, since she started her brand, which I love that she is open to improving and she has acknowledged it. I think that is so cool. So here is the palette, those shades though, y'all, those shades. So for $52, you get 16 shades and of course they look like this. So I have primed my lids off camera with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Of course, I do that every video I prime my lid, so it's only fair that we do it before we try out a palette. So I'm going to take shade First Class. It is a pale matte lavender, and I'm going to put that all over my lid here, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so right off the bat, you guys, this formula is amazing. I definitely think they are a little bit more easier to blend than the previous palettes. I think my only issue with the Kylie Cosmetics shadows has been the metallics in the past have been a little underwhelming and definitely I've seen improvements. So, of course we're gonna try out, we gotta try out that blue, y'all. I wanna smoke out my lash line. So now I'm going to go in with this matte type of slate gray color called On The Rocks, and we're just gonna use a little MAC blending brush and put that right in my crease and blend out. All right, now we're gonna take this matte chocolate brown shade called Palm Tree, and we are going to put a little bit in the crease and just darken it a hair. All right, now if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love to take really light shades and put them on the brow bone. I'm a little scared to try this. This is called Aloha. It's like a peachy uh, matte shade. And when I mean scared, I just mean that I am very fair. So I don't want it to look too crazy on my lid. So I'm gonna take a clean brush and we're just gonna play with it. We'll try half the eye in case it's too dark. All right, you guys, Aloha is tucked in there. I kind of love these like color combos together. I'm living so far. So we are going to dip into shade Island Girl, which is, of course, this stunning electric blue color. I'm going to use a Tom Ford little pencil brush, and we're just going to coat the brush. Now, I did see Kylie on Snapchat wet the brush for some of the metallic. We can definitely try that on my channel, but I want to coat the brush completely before I wet it, just to see how it works on its own. The brush is coated. Let's see if it works. All right, now you guys know I'm the realest bitch on YouTube. Kylie, I love you. This blue one, it's a little sheer. And by sheer, I mean it's sheer, honey. It's sheer. Not a bad thing. Some people do like a soft look, but if you're gonna do a blue shadow, bitch, you better do a damn blue shadow. Okay, let me just wet my brush. Let's take this back in the palette and let's coat the brush while it's damp. Okay, and now let's see what happens. All right, you guys, I will say that once I wet the brush with Fix Plus, it applied really nice. I think by itself it was a little subtle, so if you're someone that doesn't want an intense, crazy blue look, you can definitely use it dry, but I think it definitely needed the um, Fix Plus. All right, now for a little inner corner action, I wanna use this soft champagne peachy color. This one's called Summer 17, right here. And let's just pop this right in here. It definitely goes well with the blue, but to me, I want a little bit more intensity, so we're gonna wet the brush again. Ooh, girl, there we go. So wetting the brush with the metallics definitely is a big help. You guys know if I was like, mm-hmm, I would tell y'all, but I mean, it is very common nowadays for the world to own a setting spray and to bump up, uh, you know, the pigment. As you guys can see, 
She's blinding. Definitely was amazing after I wet the brush, so no tea, no shade. I think the metallics definitely do need a little bit of moisture to really take it there, but that was announced on social media, so there's no games here. Now, I have used five shades in the palette so far. I am loving the formula. Of course, I think all the mattes are gonna feel the same. Same with the shimmers or the metallics. So I am going to quickly put on some black eyeliner in my waterline and some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I quickly put on some Roller Lash from Benefit on the lashes, and I'm loving it. Now, normally I would do false lashes, but I think it's summer. Let's just keep it a little more subtle and cute. Let's move on to lips, but of course, let me give you my full-on uh, first impressions thoughts. I think that the matte shades in this palette were amazing. They blended beautifully, just like every other brand that I love and respect. So, shout out to Kylie. I think the formula... Um, is great. Alright, let's move on to the matte liquid lips. Now here we have the Send Me More Nudes collection. So for $45 you get four shades and they look like this. Um, I love the camo nude gold packaging. I think it is stunning. Now from left to right we have Naked. We have birthday suit, and I know, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. I also have a lipstick called birthday suit from my collection. I know the internet was going crazy. At the end of the day, it's a shade name, and we all make these things in advance, so it's a coincidence. Anyway, we have, so we have naked, we have birthday suit, we have commando, and we have bear. I am going to swatch one of them on my lips and put one of the glosses over it and then I'll swatch the other three on my hand just so you guys can see what they look like. And I'm just gonna take the first one called Naked. I have been a fan of the matte formula. Same wand, same type of like candy licorice scent. Let's see how it goes on. All right, you guys, here is the shade Naked Swatched. I think it is really gorgeous. It is very consistent with the past formulas. Her nudes are always bomb. I do want to swatch them all in my hand for you guys, so I will swatch this one one more time. My hand is so glittery today. So we have Naked right there. And here we have Birthday Suit, which is a, it looks like it's a little darker nude than the one that I just swatched on my mouth. Oh yeah, definitely you can tell on the monitor. It is a more caramel nude. And now we have Commando, which is an even darker nude. And now we have the shade Bear. Ooh, girl, I love that one. I'm gonna have to try that in a video later. So here are all of the four matte liquid lips. There's also one other liquid to matte lip kit uh, in the Vacation Collection. This shade is called June Bug. Now, the internet was once again going crazy. Now, normally in reviews, you guys, I never talk about myself or my own brand, you know I'm not about that life, but when the internet saw this shade, it looks like this, they were going crazy saying that it looked like my shade coming out called You Better Work. So when you see them together, you guys, um, hers is definitely more neon and bright. I did a swatch comparison on Snapchat, let me insert that right here. And as you guys can see, mine is a more deeper, darker violet purple and hers is a more hot neon purple. So they are definitely different. No one stole anyone's ideas, relax, take a breather, take a hit girl, let's move on. So there are two glosses with a different formula and the box looks like this. These are the super glitter glosses. There are two shades, we have glamour and we have Lits. I definitely want to put one over this lip here and if you hold them up I mean you can see they are blinding in here. They look very glittery on snapchat and online I was like, oh my lord girl. I'm just gonna put it right on top of this Now at first I thought I was gonna hate the little brush. You guys see it is very little right here. It lets you get right on the edge and define it really quickly. I'm like looking in the mirror like, whoa. So I think it's only fair that we do a little swatch. Of course, this is Glitz one more time on the hand. As you can see, it is very, very pigmented and glossy. And then the next one we have is Glamour, which of course I said was a more goldy bronze color. And let's just put that right next to that one. Oh yeah, that one's really pretty, wow. All right, so there are both of the super glitter glasses. All right, and because my cheekbones are already glowing for the gods, I needed a cheek model. 
Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> so today, Nathan is gonna help me model a few other of the highlighters from the Vacation Collection. So today, babe, we are gonna try the Ultra Glow Loose Powder Highlights. All right. These highlighters are supposed to be blinding. I mean, what do you think about my cheek? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking blinding. That's wild, huh? What do you think about the lip? It's kind of sick. Yeah, it's pretty, it's crazy. It's got like a little illuminescence of pink. It's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Cool, so today we're gonna try out two shades of the Ultra Glow powders. Today we have Santorini and we have Fiji. Oh, all right. So let's try Santorini first. And you open them up and they look like this. So I have this little brush here. I'm just gonna lightly dip in there. Mm. All right, cool, don't move. Oh, oh, oh. Holy shit, move your head a little bit. Am I blinding? Oh! Okay, let me let me do more. This is blinding. Okay, yes, Santorini! Now let's try Fiji with a clean brush. We'll use this little Anastasia one. And let's Oh, oh my god, you can't hold on. Let me turn let me turn you this way. There, oh, over there you go. Right there. Oh yeah, baby, right fucking there. I like it. It's more like fleshy kind yeah. of like it matches your skin tone more, so it's definitely blending in. Yeah, but it has this kind of like I've definitely been getting some sun lately, so you have. I like it. It's cute. I think the other one turned to me is obviously a little bit more blinding, but this one matches Nathan's skin tone perfectly. So Fiji is more of like a bronzy, softer glow, if you want to call it soft. But um wow, these are really pretty. And there is a third one. We are out of cheekbones today, but we it, are. <laughs> but it's called Tahiti. Okay. You've been there. Well, yes, I have. You under <laughs> my nose with it. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> sure, let's just let's give it a little whirl right here. Here, we'll do an extreme nose highlight. It's definitely more subtle, and I don't mind it at all. Here, we'll we'll just douse your whole nose in it. People can read us later. Oh. <laughs> My God. Okay, I mean that is blinding, you guys. Look at his nose. It looks. It literally looks wet. Thanks, babe. Yeah, of course. Okay, so also in this bundle, you guys, there are velvet liquid lips, which are the formula that she created that are not kiss proof, that dry down. And they're actually the identical shades to the liquid to mattes. So I don't really think we need to swatch them. You guys saw them earlier on my hand. These ones do just don't dry down. Besides that, there is something called a face duo. I guess we should open that up before we, before we leave everyone. Oh, okay, so it's a highlighter and bronzer. All right. Cute. So glow up, ooh. Okay, so glow up is like a blinding metallic. No, yeah, it's good. And then of course, sun kissed is a bronzer. And it looks like that. Swatch very nice. Mm-hmm, cute. So you guys, that is the entire vacation collection from Kylie Cosmetics. I think I'm just gonna do a quick little recap. My favorite items from the entire collection are the wet set highlighter, which is on my cheekbone. Oh, uh, yeah? Just feel, don't dig in hard, oh, wow. but feel it. It's like a, it's weird. Oh, wow. Uh, what does that feel like to you? Like butter, like you're just it, like. Yeah, it's good, huh? Yeah. And also the eyeshadow palette worked amazing. And the glitter, the super glitter glosses were like, oh my god, stunning yeah. to me. It looks so cool. Does it? Yeah, it really does. I live for it. Your nose is insane. I bet every time I turn that way, it's mm -hmm. like, see that shit from the fucking space. Tell okay, me. you guys, so those were my favorites uh, from the collection. I think that the um, the nude lips are also really cool as well. If you are a nude lip lover, which aren't we all, I think that is a necessity. But besides that, I hope you guys had an amazing time watching this video. Sorry if it's a little long. We're about to dive into summer. Yes, we are. We're about to fly to Michigan and go hang out in our new house. Yes, we are. And fill up the whole house with uh, hot sex. All right. Yeah, you know it. I think everyone's tired of hearing about our sex lives. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. When you're having good sex, you want to talk about it, okay? Sorry, um, not sorry. And it's been two years of amazingness. All right, thank you to Nathan for being here. I love you, baby. Love you, baby. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Mwah. See you guys. Bye.